Kate here, yoga teacher, inspiring a nimble approach to a joyful practice. This is day 16 of your 30 days of transitions. And today we're going to talk about transitioning from high lunge to warrior one. Slightly different from warrior two. Not that much though. We're going to do the pivot and wiggle again. Um, that's my absolute favorite way to transition. I've also got Leo here with me. Those are the random feet down at the corner. And just a reminder, this is not a full practice. This is just a transition. So make sure you're warmed up before you try any of the transitions. All right. Last video, we talked about pivoting the foot. We're going to do that same thing. So whenever you're ready, you're going to make your way into, I'm going to turn this way this time your high lunge, okay? Now in warrior two, we pivot, wiggle this front foot a little bit so our feet are basically in the same line and then we kind of let our hips open up a little bit. For warrior one, we're not gonna do that. We're going to pivot this back heel down and then we actually want our heels on train tracks. So let me move again. So I'm in my high lunge. So for warrior two, we pivot. I'm going to bring this front foot over a little bit. So you can see they're kind of on the same line and that gives me the space to open up my hips. Okay. For warrior one, we start out in, war in high lunge. I'm going to bring this heel down. And you can see how bringing that heel down draws this hip back. I want to be able to bring it forward. So I'm going to wiggle this front foot a little bit wider. So my heels are on train tracks. They're right next to each other. And then I can make my hips parallel. And in doing so, I might find that my heel needs to go back a little bit farther. That's okay. Now we're in warrior one. So our hips are forward, our shoulders are forward, our back heel is down. Okay, and we've got a nice long, strong spine. You can bring your arms up, maybe incorporate a little bit of a back. Okay, let's look at that from the side. High lunge, we do the pivot, we wiggle, we engage everything, pivot a little bit more, and now we're in warrior one. All right, next option, we're gonna stand up, pivot, wiggle, and then bend our front knee. So let's take a look at it from this point of view. I'm in my high lunge. I feel like oh, I wanna get my feet placed before I have to utilize all that strength to balance with my leg bent. So I'm gonna straighten my front leg. I'm gonna pivot this back heel down, wiggle this front foot out wide. Then I'm going to bend. I feel like I maybe need to inch this foot forward. And I'm going to rotate my hips forward so they're on train tracks. Okay. So especially if you're not quite comfortable with where your feet need to go or your legs are feeling tired, just taking the stress out of holding a bent leg position can make it a lot easier. It can make it a lot easier safer and it gives your body um, the chance to really learn the right position of the feet that makes sense for your anatomy. So I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what transitions you like to use to get from high lunge to warrior one and I will see you guys tomorrow.